We are dedicated to the conservation of Arctic, subarctic, and like climate species through research, community enrichment, and of course the conservation of animals through education. Most people, because they don't know a lot about wolves, they don't really understand the dynamics or their importance in ecosystems. So we find out that people either really, really hate wolves because they think that they're these just vicious, crazy, killing animals, or they love them almost to the point where they would want to take them home and have them as a pet. What my job is, is to teach people that they're just a wild animal. They are out there to survive, and they're actually unique in that they can survive in a variety of habitats and ecosystems. And not only are they amazing survivalists in those areas, but they're also really important to all the different ecosystems that they survive in. They actually can change an entire ecosystem by being there or not being there. One of the things I've noticed and heard since I've been here is the word enrichment, and I didn't know anything about that. Every day we try to do something unique, novel for all of our animals, so whether it's a walk or a toy or, you know, something supplement-wise, a little treat that they get. Um, and, you know, we try to mix that up to give them a little added stimulation. And for the wolves, this is probably, I would say, their favorite enrichment that they get to do. So we started working with them very, very young and hands-on so that we could keep up the relationship initially just to move them into their permanent habitat. Once we realized through working with them that they enjoyed the interaction, they enjoyed the walks, getting out, and they had better enrichment from them, so better mental and physical stimulation getting out of their habitat, we actually just kept those relationships and those activities up so that we could continue to enrich them but also have the established bond. Wolves have to identify territories and communicate those territories between packs. So whether it's one pack telling another pack that might be encroaching on a territory where their location is and kind of give a warning, this is, you know, we are here, this is our territory. Whether it is a pack communicating within its own pack to identify where individuals are. They will howl to kind of gear up for a big hunt, so they'll get together and kind of get excited by howling and communicating that way. And then of course my favorite reason that wolves howl, and especially here at the Alaska Zoo, is they howl to strengthen their social bonds. When people see us working with them, I think it's important that they remember that any animal, wild or not, you have to be very careful with. Even though you see us interacting with these animals, it's a very habituated animal that has built up an amazing tolerance and trust with us. And we work very hard as professionals to not break that trust. And in doing so, we minimize the risks for ourselves as well as for the animals.